Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rainy, this is the Enchanted Planner. Okay, and today we are planning in my health planner for the last week in October, which of course is literally right before Halloween. <laughs> but we're still doing Halloween because you know I'm gonna. Okay, so I've got my health headers out, I've got a few sticker books out. We're gonna pull this off of the discs and I'll show you what we're up to. I have pulled out the Nightmare Before Christmas because again, we only get so many opportunities to use this stuff. So, and this, I think we're gonna create a little scene using a whole slew of different um, characters. I think that is kind of our plan. Now, where I'm stuck is if I wanna bring in some florals because as I discovered the Florals in here from the Halloween section, this, these guys, go very, very well with Jack. The problem is, is I'm kind of hoarding them because let's be honest, I happen to love them. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. So I think maybe the best place to start is like, let's eliminate this stuff. And then we can figure out um, kind of what we're going to do from there. And then I think the next route I'm going to take or the next action I'm going to take is I'm going to lay in all of my health headers first. Most of the time I do that afterwards and I have a little bit of a sticker hang over here and it's kind of sticky. So let's get rid of that. <clears throat> okay. Now, now that that's done, darling. Okay. Wax paper. <laughs> oh <my God. clears throat> okay, so let's just, I was going to print these all out on clear, but I'm like, I'll use this sheet first, then I'll go printing another one. Because, you know, why waste? Not that, you know, I can't use them both at the same time. You know, like one spread, I do them in paper. One spread, I do them in clear. You know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> all right, so let's plunk these guys down really quickly. So what y'all been up to out there in planner land? Me, not much. I can't believe we're marching towards the end of October. That just seems very crazy. But then, in the same breath, this entire year has gone by so fast. Like, so fast. And I'm happy to report I'm still doing fairly good with the um, exercise and movement side of things. So far, I've had 13 or 14 workouts this month and it's like the 20th so that's pretty damn good um the other thing too is so right now because I'm out of shape and let's face it a lot has changed in my body in the last three years let's go with that I mean I had some of these changes going on before that but you know the pandemic and having me sit on my ass for way too long it's certainly done a number so I'm back in this sort of we call it um, anatomic adaptation is what we trainers call it. It's because the first like month to six weeks that you start moving, we as trainers focus on certain things, which is like correcting any postural distortions, working on increasing balance and um, your body takes a while to, to catch up sometimes. Like when you first start, if you've ever done this, probably you'll understand what I'm talking about. So when you first start, Sometimes the movements that you're trying to do, whether it's weightlifting or um, using machines like free weights or using machines or just dance, you you feel awkward and you can't seem to get your limbs <laughs> to cooperate with what your brain and your eyes want them to do. And that's where the anatomical adaptation comes in. Now, I've never really had an issue with balance or flexibility. I've been a variety of different weights over the course of my life <laughs> from, you know, 120 pounds as an adult to 200 pounds as an adult and everything in between. But through it all, I've always been very agile, very flexible and very coordinated. <laughs> okay, so 
fast forward and let's add in freaking menopause to this move that just oh my god so this is what i was saying to die earlier like i have had um like i'm obviously a sort of i'm a personal trainer amongst many other things underneath my belt but one of the credentials i carry is a certification um to work with older adults like our age people in menopause people who are going through all kinds of changes because our body doesn't function the same as it did even 10 years ago okay now when I took this course I was probably like 39 40 so moving into middle aged but not quite really middle aged yet and like I said to die I'm I'm laughing at myself because experience there's something to be said for personal experience because I now like when you when I took the course you know we talk about um adaptive movements to increase proprioception which means in short that you know the muscles fire better for lack of a better term because they don't really fire but just to get the body moving properly and that you know we don't want older adults to fall and break a hip or twist a knee or break an ankle all those things <laughs> but part of that is they want to take them through a process where they increase their coordination because we do. We lose our coordination. We lose we lose all kinds of things, right? And I had never really had a first-hand experience with that until this month because I've been doing um, fitness classes online with my girlfriend. And I'll tell you, trying to get my legs or my feet to cooperate with what they're supposed to do at the same time as whatever my arms and my upper body are trying oh my god it's freaking hilarious so i now have excuse me i just gotta lose a layer i'm dying here <laughs> hot flashes abound anyways um i'm laughing because for someone that's never had any issues with coordination and um getting things to to do their thing right now all of a sudden i'm sitting in a situation where i have now gained personal experience because I am the first one to say a 30, a 35, 40 year old, I'm sorry, you have no business calling yourself a menopause expert and trying to cash in on the menopause population. You don't have any experience. I'm sorry, you don't. You haven't even hit perimenopause by that time, half the time. Right? <laughs> so I take issues with all these young ones, especially if they're men, okay, calling themselves menopause experts. And I'm just like this, right? Screw off. I'm, I'm not about to take advice or like, no, cause you have no bloody experience with it. Like screw off. Okay. Here's what my thinks. I'm thinking about taking a couple of these and putting them across the center and then kind of popping the rest of the characters in and around maybe question mark, I think is our game plan. But the first thing we're going to need to do is remove um, this backing because it will drive me crazy. So let's pull up a sticker. So anyways, the Reader's Digest version of what I'm basically trying to explain to y'all is now I, that I have personal experience, you know, when I took that course uh, 15 years ago, no, 12 years ago, my, you know, I'm like, oh, I know it all. No, you don't know shit. <laughs> Even at 40, you don't have any personal experience with it. Like I, the way I see it and the, the way I like, well, actually, you know, it's not even the way I like, it's the way it happens. The people, excuse me, hold on one sec. The people that find me, that want to work with me as a personal trainer, are generally a few steps behind where I am at the current moment. So when I was, because I went into menopause very early, when I was younger, I would attract sort of the millennials or the late millennials. Now that I'm this age, I find that my audience tends to be more 50 and up. Because even though I'm only 51, I have been postmenopausal for 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I've been postmenopausal for five years. Like it's um I got I got some experience to share with that one. But you know I think that like attracts like and I think in the greater scheme of things people always find each other. Those who are meant to work together always find each other. And I always end up attracting people who are a little bit behind me, like a few steps behind me. 
And it's great because they're my peeps, man. Y'all my peeps. And I mean, y'all hang out with me on the planner channel. That's not, you're not my, you're not my fitness clients, but I still consider you my people because, you know, we hang out together almost damn daily. <laughs> it is awesome. I can't wait. I do want to do a live. Sorry, I'll come back to that conversation in a second. I do want to do a live, but I have to figure out the logistics on how to do it. I am set up in the back end of YouTube to go live. I just need to figure out what that looks like because I currently don't have like I have the regular YouTube app on my phone but I don't have the YouTube creator app on my phone because personally it sucks so there's that oh the other thing is I pulled out this really kind of cool scalloped washi now this is a happy planner washi and that's the doorbell hold on my friends oh my gosh I kind of feel like you know the movie Aladdin when um, the lamp and the genie are underwater and he's like having a bath and he's like, oh, every time you get in the bath, there's a knock at the lamp. It's kind of what I feel like when I freaking start filming. <laughs> I'm like, you have all this time and now you knock and ring the doorbell. But it was um, the post person delivery for my kid needed a signature. So it just makes me laugh. I'm like, every time I get in there, there's a rubbit lamp. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna, we're gonna try this and see what it looks like, shall we people? I don't know there's certain things but anyway so what was I saying oh um damn it <sighs> again again sometimes getting interrupted is not a good thing when you have menopause man because <laughs> you can't freaking remember and it's bad too because I interrupt myself all the time and then that's just that's a whole other gamut okay so I want to get rid of I don't know if this will tear because it's kind of little but we're gonna try no, I'm going to just, I'm oh shoot, throwing things everywhere. I'm going to throw this in here like so, because that just makes it handy dandy. Okay, let's take our friend here, but I do want this. Am I going to get rid of these guys? Yeah, so anyways, the funny thing is, is I'm sore on a daily basis but it's a good kind of sore but i'll tell you um my coordination is freaking laughable <laughs> like oh my gosh oh that's what i was talking about is um trying to get set up for a live um i don't have the youtube creator app on my phone because i'm pretty particular about what actually goes on this phone i could just do it on my old phone and go from there um and just go for like over the wi-fi but i have to yeah, I've got to look into the logistics on it and how exactly it's done because I want to do what some people do where they have like the picture of this and then I'm off in the corner as well. So I don't know if I need two cameras for that. Di will be able to help me because she's like, <laughs> it's kind of her realm, man. The multi-camera thing is kind of her realm because she's done it for her yoga channel. So I'm going to bug her on a few things. I know, I wish these were paper now. Because I don't like the fact that the things are showing through it. Can you get off the tweezers, please? It's not quite centered. Let's try this again. Let's try that again. Let's see how I like it. Eh, it's not bad. We'll deal. Oh, you know what? I think I did that wrong, though. I think it was supposed to be this one on this side. And where did... Oh, no. It's this one. I'm like, what's going on here? I'm easily confused today, my friends. <laughs> easily confused. Let's just chalk it up to that. But yeah, no. So we've talked about the live. Um, yeah, the like I said, the whole concept of coordination is laughable to me right now. And again, it comes down to personal experience with things. I, it, it means more to me than all the credentials in the world. Like, piss off, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just I come across them on Instagram and they're like 30 and male and calling themselves a menopause expert. I'm like, what the f you know about menopause? You don't know shit, man. <laughs> you don't know crap. <laughs> I just giggle and laugh. But what's happened? And it, menopause is not new. We've all we've been going through it since like basically the beginning of freaking time. But in the last, I don't know, probably 10 years that like, cause I've been working, I, I, I honestly say my business has evolved with me as I've gone through life. Like when I was younger, I attracted younger people than me. And now that I'm in my middle age, I attract sort of, my audience has just naturally shifted with me going through 
my own journey in life. Um, but what's happened in the last couple of, like I said, maybe decade is that everybody's realized that the boomer population is freaking huge and they're looking at us as cash cows. That's basically what it is. They look at us like we're cash cows because we are the largest generation. And I'm sorry, but I'm a little incensed by that. My struggles with menopause are not a cash cow for you. Like, I just, I don't know, it just pisses me off. <laughs> it just pisses me off a bit, people. Pissing me off. I'm feeling feisty today, if you haven't, if you haven't caught that. All right, let's go have a look in this book. Because I want the clear characters, but I do want to see if I can find one with Jack and Sally. And I know they're in here. This book is falling apart. So hold, hold your, hold your hats, people. Oh, that's my beautiful little note from Lori. I like to keep that kind of stuff together with the gifts. Okay, so what do we got here? That's not what I'm looking for. Mm, this has foil in it, so it's not optimal. There's some of zero. <laughs> yeah, that was a hilarious one. Yeah, like I said, I do want to see if I can find like these. What's this? Oh, these are more Christmas style, but it doesn't really matter. These two, for example. So there is a couple there. Stupidity to it all is I was going to go through the sticker book before um, I started filming. So I was like, well, maybe I'll, oh, these are fun. Um, I'll go look through the sticker book before to see what I can find. Like this is fun, but there's no Sally. And I wish it was not on paper. Um... I took the mayor out of here apparently at some point. Oogie boogie. Come on. Lock, shock, and barrel. There has to be some with Sally and you here somewhere. Like these are, well, these would work too. This is with the zero. But I was kind of hoping to get Sally in. Oh, what are these? These might work. Okay, well, let's move the case out of the way. How big do I want them? I kind of want them big. So I think we're going to take this top one and we're going to throw this on some wax paper so I can get an idea on how tall it is. Because, right? That's kind of cute. I like it. And I think it's one of the taller ones. We are going to need to eliminate this whole line down here. So we may as well do that before we get too excited here. Because I don't want it to be cutting through Sally. I don't know how long it has to be, so if we put them down, that should, that should do it. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so let's pick these guys up and slide them in. I don't want to cut off Jack's elbow, <laughs> so let's not do that. Let's not cut off Jack's elbow, but I do kind of want them standing straight. Excellent. That's uh, really, really close to the edge. Can we move a tiny bit? Can we move a tiny bit? I don't mind if I cut off the clear, but I don't really want to cut off his elbow. Okay, that's that's pretty good right there. Okay, so let's get ye old sticker swisher, which is just a craft scraper people. I do want to eliminate this down here though because I didn't really think about that well, let's just do that let's do that and then we're good so that's fabulous let's put the lid back on my thing okay now let's flatten that out now okay so we want who do we need let's go grab everybody <laughs> Let's just grab them all, people. We got some of Sally on her own, so I don't really want Sally on her own. I would like some of Zero. These are huge. That one's not too bad. Do we have other single Zeros in here somewhere? And I'd like to stay in clear stickers if I can. Um, we got these. Let's put that there as a marker. That's Jack on his own. That's the Christmas stuff. That's the Halloween stuff. Let's 
That's Oogie Boogie. I think I'm going to have to enter. I'm going to, I'm not going to have any choice. I'm not going to be able to do it all in clear. I don't think because some of the ones on the clear, the stickers are rather big and that's problematic when we're using the teacher planner. But I did see something in here in my travels that I want to grab this and I don't really care that they're, I want this. Oh gosh, everything's just, <laughs> everything's just kind of a train wreck. <laughs> Let's get our spider. Do I want to take it up to the top? I think maybe I do, which means we're going to get rid of this and that. So we have a blank canvas. And then I might go looking for um, like a box, a decorative box or a decorative box quote to put in here maybe. Or we'll go see if we can find some habit trackers. We'll see what we find. Okay, so we're gonna put that spider right there because that's just like super duper cute. And uh, I wish this book was a train wreck. Oh my gosh. All right, so, you know, okay. <laughs> that's, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. We don't want you, we don't want you. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do because this is going to take me a few minutes probably. And I'm gonna pause while I pick the stickers. I'll be right back. Okay, I have pulled a bunch of stickers. I don't necessarily know how well everyone is going to work because they are a little bit larger than I would like, but we're gonna see what we can make work. Like I've got Oogie Boogie, which would be just hilarious, but I think he's like, they're kind of too big, unless I put him in like right here, which might be an idea. So we're gonna temporarily, we're gonna de-stick him a little bit and then we're gonna plunk him down right there. I don't want to cut off his arm though. <laughs> Hold on Oogie. Hold on Oogie. We'll throw him like that and he can temporarily stay there until I decide if I'm going to keep him there or not. And then I brought in a couple of options like lock, shock, and barrel are in black and white or color. It's just their positions is different. So I mean I kind of like this one because she's running across so I think that would be kind of cute which might be cute to like plunk her somewhere here maybe in here like that um now one of these guys either I think the one in color is too too oops hang on a second here the one in color is kind of too big, but the one in black and white will work. So this is where it gets kind of complicated because I really like the fact that she's in purple, <laughs> but she's the only one that's in color. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so there's that. So let's de-stick this and we will figure out if he can go there and then we have our little friend up here who's also black and white and he's smaller so i think he might work a bit better we kind of put him up here like breakfast isn't too big of a deal i can kind of make that work around things because it's not usually a ton of food cute we're coming together i want to try and get zero on but he is a little huge unless i go into the book and grab one of the ones that's like with jack and then i can grab one that's smaller and I can probably make that work a little bit better but I might be able to sneak him in I have to figure out where we're dating it too because I was like well if we put the characters across here um I can date it up here but if I put that guy up there unless I put him here and I put zero up here like so that kind of works too it does and then we have like the mad scientist but he's kind of big <laughs> i don't know where we put him he's kind of big he is kind of big he may have to wait for another we have to wait for another one unless we kind of sneak him in like here somewhere i'm trying not to cut off any like important parts too which if i put it right there it's going to cut off the head of the reindeer Hmm, decisions, decisions. Unless I move him like 
that and I put him across the page but then we're still cutting off kind of the head of the reindeer which is not really what I want to do I don't want to okay now I brought these out because I'm like well these would be kind of fun there's also at the back of this sticker book some like of the potion bottles and stuff like the deadly nightshade and the frog's breath and the worms wort. so I thought those might be fun I just wish they were clear but they're not so we cannot we cannot be picky because we might be able to grab a few of these and help bring some about maybe I should probably put the dates on here first you think <laughs> maybe we should do that first okay let's figure out where we're putting the dates they may end up all over the map and that's okay too sometimes it's fun to put things in different places like we could kind of go like maybe 23 and like maybe 24 would be there and 25 could go like right up there actually yeah, I could put it right up there and then we got 26 27 28 29 so Let's look at our little friends here. Put 26 right there. And 27. I don't like it there. I could put it right there. And then 28. Maybe down here. And then we could put the 29 down here in the corner, which would help fill in that bottom, which actually kind of works. I mean, it's like all over the place from a dating standpoint, but you know, it's fun. Sometimes it's fun to just go outside, just to go outside. <laughs> um, I really wish these were clearer. They are not. So I think I can kind of like put these in where we need a little bit of, just a little bit of something, something, you know? Let's grab the worm's wort. Where do we need something? It's starting to look pretty full, actually. We could kind of put maybe that up there, that up there, that there. Ah, no, I don't like that. Here, 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 here. I don't like that either. Maybe we just don't need it. Maybe it's just going to be one we don't need. Oh, that is an absolute terrible placement. Let's try that. <laughs> I can't see under the light. So just bear with me for a second. There we go. Um, oh, we have much larger versions of it too, but I don't really want large ones. The, the small's cool. Okay, now um, I think we're, we've got as good as we're going to get from getting characters on here. But I pulled out um, holiday coats and boxes from uh, Amber. She does have a couple in here that are Halloween related and actually Nightmare Before Christmas related. So that's kind of cool. Like this one, I am the shadow on the moon at night, filling your dreams to the brim with fright, which is Oogie Boogie. Um, and then there is This Is Halloween. So it's a matter of which one's going to work better. Because I'm thinking about like right here. Trick or treat bags of sweets, ghosts, or werewolves, howl, phantoms, prowl, jalapenos, a bonus. Now, I like that one too. I mean, the, this is Halloween, is kind of cool. Let's get a piece of wax paper so you can see how it fits. We kind of have to come at it like that. And it doesn't really take up a ton of space, unfortunately. If I had been thinking, I could have made myself some quotes. I could have done the I am the shadow on the moon at night and just made it much larger. Like, do we like that? I think I like that. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's grab one of these spider webs in here because they're cute too. And we're going to put that over here in this corner, like so. No, that does not work. That didn't work very well. We need it, we need it to line up a bit better so it doesn't look weird. And it's not optimal. I think it's too small. That's the major issue here. So we're going to stick that back on there. Tired of this boo shit. 100% <laughs> baby. 100%. I kind of like this. I'm going to pause it. We kind of need something, I don't know, in this little area down here though. And that's where we are kind of stuck. 
Unless I got like some sparklies or stuff. Because the, 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 the thing didn't work really, right? This thing. But we do need something down here. Unless we just kind of plunk that like that. Eh, it works. It helps put something in there, which is the important part. Okay, I'm going to pause it so I can white out the things I need to white out. And then we'll be back to wrap it up. Okay, it kind of went a little crazy. <laughs> um, I only whited out some of them. I mean, obviously, Zero is supposed to be a ghost, so things are obviously going to show through him. I added some bats. Oops, I forgot to... I'm doing pretty good there. I thought I had it all, but I forgot to do this little guy down here. So I'll show you what I did. I added this spider web, which was also in the books. I'm like, well, I may as well use them both. And then I added some bats and we're good. I'm really happy with that, actually. Like, super fun. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you next time. Ciao.